Today, the British Sound team is going to take you through some of their top technical tips. Enjoy! First up, we have Marcus Tressler talking to us about how he maintains his 470. First bit, check your slot gasket hasn't started lifting. Now that's all done, let's go check our mass. Now I'm just looking down the track of my mast to see if it's straight sideways. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and look down sideways to check it's straight fore and aft. Next I'm going to check my spinnaker pole and check my pistons are still working properly. If your ends are a little bit sticky you can use a bit of lube and give it a little And lastly, we need to check all our sheaves on our mast are running smoothly. And if anything metal on our mast or boat is looking a bit rusty, we need to give it a... And for any plastic blocks that aren't running smoothly, use a lube and give it a... Thanks guys! Next up, we've got Hannah and Anna talking you through their daily boat checks. Every day after sailing, you want to make sure you're rinsing the hull because you get little uh, salt crystals drying on there if you've got any salt water left on. So hands lifting it right up, making sure she gets under the trolley there. So as I mentioned before, um, you can get salt crystals that dry on the bottom of your yeah. boat, even if you've hosed it down really well. The best way to get around it is to dry it every day. So we've got a sort of squeegee thing and we just wipe all the water off the foils, make sure they don't go wet into the bag. Check your boat's dry and also just means that it doesn't explode if it gets hot. And if you sail the boat with two of those tensions that are removable, make sure that you take them off every evening so that the UJ, the little joint here, doesn't get worn over time. There we go, I promise we do take them off more often. The next thing we do is that I get a screwdriver, flathead and a crosshead, and go from the front of the back, front of the boat to the back of the boat, just checking all of the little screws. So we had one here pull out today so we'll make sure we fix that tonight because if you turn up in the morning and you want to launch and you're already late it's the last thing you want to do is to be trying to fix that um, and i work front to back checking all the blocks um, checking everything's screwed in and then anna works from the back to the front checking all the ropes Our sessions we also like just to have a quick clear up around the boat park near us and just make sure that any of the rubbish that was around our boat isn't going to blow into the water <laughs> um, and just pop it in the bin. Next up we have Connor Bainbridge talking to you about sail care. My top tip for equipment is to always look after your sail or kite. With sails you can wash them easily after every single session before putting them away. And with kites, if ever they get salty or ever they get wet, make sure they're fully dried and fully cleaned before you put them away. Next up we have Ryan and Vita talking to you about foil care. Once you've got your board out, you need to clear the area. Come on Cecil, time to do boat work. Then you need to wash your board with soapy water. <laughs> now we're going to get Otis to check the leading edges. This is the most important for any chips. Otis, is there one there? Thanks to Otis, he found a few chips that we're going to mend. 
be sure to check down the board by just getting down and looking with one eye to see if the board's straight. Now, last thing I'm going to do is just get the edge a whole bit. I don't know if you can see, there's lots of tiny scratches. Um, I'm just going to tap that, try and get rid of that sort of stuff with the 15. All right, there we go. After five minutes of sanding, I finished off with the 1500 grit. And she is ready to go back in the water. There we go. One full 70 board ready to go sailing again. Our last tip comes from Tom Walker. He's going to talk to you about toolkits. Hope you found today's video useful. Enjoy the final tip. Hi, I'm Tom Walker, FX coach and occasional 49er sailor. My technical top tip is make sure you have a well-equipped toolbox. This makes rigging and de-rigging quick and hassle-free. Have a regular clear out of your toolbox as it's easy for things to accumulate over time. Make sure you are only carrying what you need. I often see people carrying around equipment specific to their previous class. This can be left at home and makes your toolbox lighter and easier to carry around with you. Once you've sailed your boat for a certain amount of time, for a few months, you'll get used to what is needed. For example, when I do get to go 49er sailing, I know that my most often used tool is a 10 millimeter spanner. So I make sure it's always to hand at the top of my toolbox.